Hello and welcome back everyone to this Warcraft series here on the map Twisted Meadows. So we have... Uh, which Night Elf player is this? We have Loliet putting in as the Red Night Elf player in the bottom right, and Focus the Red Orc in the top right. They'll be facing off against Check the Green Night Elf player in the top left, and 120 the Green Undead in the bottom left. So, uh, yeah, the map is on Twisted Meadows. And game one went over towards Focus and Loliet after a pretty opportunistic uh, timing on killing off the Tree of Life of Czech that they were able to win game one. Pretty good, actually. Um, there was pretty much no way that 120 could afford to give over gold to his ally, and uh, yeah, his ally couldn't really afford to replace that Tree of Life, so all he had to do was work with whatever hunters he have let, had left. Uh, he wasn't able to revive his Keeper. It was pretty much downhill spiral from there for the uh, for the duo of, of that game's red team, basically. Uh, yeah, for some reason, Focus's team got red this time, so it's going to be a little confusing, but... I'll try and make this work. Blade must be coming out for focus, and keepers should be coming out for both Night Elf players, and 120 should go just for the standard Death Knight there. Uh, yeah, so far, pretty much the same thing as last game. Tate opening for 120, focus going for a pretty standard uh, start here as well. He was very fortunate not to lose that much momentum for losing that Blade Master early on. I by no means will he reconsider keeping that TP scroll anymore, he'll just... He'll still sell it for those items. Um, he just needs to be extra careful with uh, using his mana, I guess. Because there, there's probably not going to be a Demon Hunter in this game. Uh, so, it's pretty much up to focus on whether or not he will be able to use his mana correctly. Uh, yeah, Death Knight does have the Dust Appearance and the ne uh, Rod of Necromancy. Keepers don't usually get any significant items, so don't know what he is looking for right now. Uh, Boots of Speed probably could be something that could get picked up there, um, but so far it just seems like he might be harassing the Acolytes because I believe after a couple of hits the Entangle will be able to finish off the Acolyte. Uh, he's just being extra safe and just killing him off as soon as possible. That will uh, that will delay the tier 2 of 120, which is pretty significant, because the one who is supposed to go to uh, tier 2 right now is Focus and 120, and Focus is all, uh, pretty much 30% done. Attack. 120 just started his, so whether or not that delay will be significant enough is... will we'll be clear later on, but... Yeah, all the small things do indeed help. Keeper going for more harassment here, but uh, those ghouls will not be able to let him do it. And of course, uh, 120 has already started his tier 2, so even if he does lose one acolyte, I think he probably wouldn't cancel it. I don't know, it uh, definitely depends on the player there, but if he got two of those acolytes taken out, then yeah, he probably would be forced to. Uh, go for the cancellation there. I'm, not su I'm surprised that he's not going for more opportunities, but I guess he's just trying to uh, trying to help his Blade Master buddy, who is significantly low health uh, after a couple of entangles and death coils from the green side there. Entangle on the Huntress, uh, not going to lead to any kills. Skeletons are trying to deal with the Overseer here, and probably a death coil will be used to finish the job. There we go, and Cool's Attack plus 6 gets picked up, and Tangle was used on the Death Knight, but since he was pretty much next to the uh, Overseer, it didn't really matter too much whether or not the item was... Under attack. Uh, risk of stolen. Risk of getting stolen, yeah. TP, uh, not TP, uh, expansion attempt from... Uh, what was it? Loliet, once again. Loliet does seem like he likes to go in expansions in these 2v2s. Um, boot speed does get picked up by the Blade Master of Focus. Entangle on a Grunt, Death Core to try and accelerate the Focus Fire there, and the Grunt will most likely get picked off. Another, unless another 
Yeah, unless the Blade Master gone for the uh, Execute, I believe he did as the Keeper didn't get any experience. Thus appearance will be used, but the Blade Master will just run out. So far, things are not looking good for... Who should I say? Actually, it, it looks pretty even so far. The second beast here did get cancelled, which might be a bit of a problem, but... Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to matter too much, as no further pressure is going to be dealt on Focus's base. Playmaster is going right after the Keeper, and Tangle will try and keep him in place there. I'm surprised the Huntresses didn't try to go for uh, a surround there, just force him to use another Windwalk, but maybe just wanted to get as much damage down as possible. Shadowhunter is out for Focus, and the second beast theory uh, should be completed fairly soon. Uh, I, I guess this was an earlier Sword House. I, I don't actually remember the timing on the last one, but yep, Sword House has been placed down. Lich is on the way as well. He does have the plus six claw of attack to be given over, so that's pretty nice. Uh, Keeper, on the other hand, does have a fair number of Huntresses himself. Keeper for Chick, or for Lolliet, pretty much as well. Griffins need to be a little careful there, and Snare is going to try and make a couple of opportunities, but the Wisp did go for a detonate to take care of that uh, nasty spell, and in Snare on the Huntress, we'll be able to see her through that Shadow Meld, and that will be two Huntresses taken down simultaneously, so pretty good for the green side here, able to get that Unholy Aura, and Thorn's Aura as well, so yeah, pretty good. Uh, auras do double in value in 2v2s or 3v3s as well, uh, mainly because it does hit a lot more units, so yeah, auras, very invaluable. Uh, anything going on here? Nope, just pumping out more Huntresses. 120 on the other hand is starting to make those uh, Obsidian statues. Not hitting tier 3 just yet, probably not going to see a tier 3 from uh, him in fact, because raiders are... They deal with destroyers a lot easier than maybe some people might think. Uh, and Snare does practically make them immobile. And there's no there's no real good targets for the destroyer. I'm sure they can go after those huntresses, but you might as well go, uh, go for your gargoyles if you're gonna go uh, counter huntresses with air units there. Orc Bro does get uh, focused down, but we did have a couple of raiders being queued up there, so not gonna matter too much. Live accuracy gets picked up by the Shadow Hunter, so he will be able to uh, at least give the Night Elf army a bit of a boost in damage. Barracks is going to get destroyed there, but uh, yeah, probably not going to be used later on in the game, so it shouldn't affect it too much. We do have a, yeah, a couple of raiders running out there, but one will get ensnared and most likely taken down. Uh, peons are good, or at least ghouls are gonna be picked off there by Focus and Loliet, but they are kind of losing a bit here. Pillage is gonna be queued up, so my taking is that the red side probably can't handle this, this huge green army, so they're gonna be forced to try and attack multiple bases at once. Pillage is just gonna be a last ditch effort to get as much resources as possible when raiding uh, his opponent's base. And the raiders are going after those moonwalls, probably should go after something more significant, but yeah, he is at least focusing down those moonwalls that do have uh, full mana. Stronghold does get destroyed here for focus, sadly, uh, and yeah, check is going to TP back to his base. Speed scroll will be used to run away as quickly as possible, and yeah, Loliet TP'd back to his expansion, so... Um, I guess the reason why the red side chose not to commit fully into defense as well is basically because Lolliet has a second base. He could probably afford to give some resources over to his ally, but this is pretty much like game one. Uh, once someone gets behind, uh, he is pretty much going to drag down his ally and eventually it's, it's not going to work out so well. Let me put it that way, I guess. Okay, this troll warlord camp is being started here. Someone hit level 3, and I believe it was the Blade Master of Focus. 
Thus appearance will be used to keep track on uh, keep tabs on that Blade Master. Their scroll of protection will be used, but the keeper gets focused down uh, by the Blade Master. Getting taken down level two. BM will run away with the win uh, with the whatever boots of speed. And a huge fight will go out. Level one Frost Nova, not gonna do too much damage, but a lot of crit fiends are falling very quickly. You can see how quickly those huntresses take down those crit fiends there. Uh, yeah, the green side's not looking good. They are slowly being overwhelmed. The Huntress are trying their best on this uh, concave here, but pretty much the majority of the undead units have been killed off, so it might just end up being a 2v1 later on. Uh, but look, a check does have a lot of units for himself. Focus is going to TP staff away, and that was kind of disastrous, I think, the red, for the red side. Um, Definitely taking down the Crypt Fiends look good, but I guess uh, check being unchecked was kind of kind of a blessing for the green side as well. Orc units could get picked off here, but with, with these Huntresses as well by Loliet. Oh, actually no, they're just going to choose to run away. So obviously taking down the orc units is a lot higher of a priority than taking down uh, Loliet's units because Focus can't get those units back. Meanwhile Loliet could easily replenish his, his army with his two expansions. Um, Focus is pretty much going to try and uh, make his worth with his heroes there. So the Shadow Hunter Blade Master combo needs to look for at least one hero kill I think. But yeah, losing these units right here is not a good start. So I believe, yeah, most of those raiders get taken down. We have one left, but that's pretty much all, got, all focus got left. So instead of the Death Knight, but he is going to get Frost armored back up. Yeah. Scroll of the speed will be used, but not really to move around. It doesn't give attack speed either, so I don't know what this speed scroll was used for. Lots of us being brought up to detonate the there and that is uh, slowly I not made no any major heroes are being focused down but a lot of units are falling on both sides uh, red side is I guess slowly overwhelming green side here or maybe not I late master does get taken down for some reason and that is gonna be GG so oh that was some very weird um Wait, so who won? 120 and check won. Okay. I mean, it did make sense since with the Blade Master gone, he couldn't revive, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't have game three, so I can't really finish the series off. That was a little weird, but... Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it so far. Uh, the casts were not great, but there was a lot going on, so I... I guess I can't really pick up everything, so hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys again next time.